Hey Casey, my life really stinks right now. You know David, maybe today's devotional help. Today I wanted to share with you a very important location to me, my spot. Before I started recording this video, the wind was all calm and perfect and as soon as I started recording this, it got windy. Hopefully the wind isn't too loud on the audio of this. I was even trying to like rebuke it like Jesus did. Um, that didn't work for me though. God's voice was not in the strong wind, but in the silence. Oh well. So this is the place where I come to spend time with God. Some might call it my prayer closet. That word always makes me think of my friend Jared who was always grounded to his room and his room was really a glorified closet. So whenever he would get ungrounded, we would always say, hey Jared, are you coming out of the closet? <laughs> Normally that would be followed by Jared throwing stuff at us. Sugar packets, playing cards, popcorn, silverware. Back to prayer closets though. The truth is every Christian should have a prayer closet. Now that doesn't mean it literally has to be in a closet. It can be anywhere. I have a friend who goes on walks through a city and during that time he spends time with God. I have another friend in England who spends her mornings drinking tea while reading online devotions. The Jews wore these things on the inside of their clothes called prayer shahs. When they needed to pray, they would literally pull it out and pull it over their head and begin to pray. Some Jews still even practice this today. The good ones, not New Jersey. In fact, many times the Gospels talk about Jesus going to a secluded place where he could pray. He probably was wearing a prayer shah because he was a Jew. It doesn't matter where it is, as long as you find a place where you can connect with God alone on a daily basis. I have this one friend, Steve, who didn't have a car and he lived in a really busy house, so he made the bathroom his prayer closet. I would definitely suggest practicing the altar of incense if that's where your prayer closet is. During your times in your prayer closet, make sure the time is focused on you and God. The enemy loves to isolate people and prey on them. Pray like in not like ah. Look at Jesus. He went to the wilderness and who was the first person he found? Satan. Satan. A good tip to avoid this is to begin your prayer time with repentance. That elevates God and protects you from the lies of the enemy. Bible reading is also a huge plus for your prayer time or your prayer closet. Now it's time for your classic verse of the day. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for wholeness and not for evil. To give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will hear you. You will seek me and find me. When you seek me with all your heart, I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and I will restore your fortunes and gather you from all the nations and all the places where I have driven you, declares the Lord, and I will bring you back to the place from which I sent you into exile. So now go find a place, elevate God, and experience him in a powerful way. And tomorrow, do it all over again. Until next time, I'm Danny, and have a beautiful day.